In this AlignMix video, you will learn how to import your existing sales territories into the AlignMix software. You may have created territories in a different piece of software, and now you're migrating to AlignMix. Now, in order to create those current territories in AlignMix, you need to have all of your current territories listed in Excel format. So let's go to my Excel file so you can see how that should look. Here on the screen, you now see my Excel file, and this is my zip to territory assignments. So in column A, I've got a list of all the zip codes, and zip codes are assigned to a territory. And in this case, I have a territory ID, which is numeric, and a territory name, which is text. You don't need to have both of these columns. If you just use a numeric identifier, then you can just use that for the import. But in this case, we're going to import both columns. If you have created a hierarchy, as in territories assigned to districts or districts to regions, and by default, that's the naming scheme. You can change the names of all three levels of assignment in the AlignMix options. So if you do have a hierarchy created, you can import all of that in at the same time, and AlignMix will create your territories, districts, and regions. And if you have data linked to zip codes, so in this case we've got some demographic data, you can import that at the same time too. The other thing that you need to remember is to have all of your column labels appear in the same row. This allows you to import everything correctly into AlignMix. So now let's go back to our AlignMix file and import these territories into the software. So here we have our AlignMix file. There's nothing imported into this file yet. It's just a blank zip code base file. If you have territories created at the county level or the FIPS level, you need to go to File, click on New, and then make sure to select U.S. counties as your base geography. And the same applies for the other countries. So if you've purchased Canadian FSAs, you will need all of your data linked to the Canadian FSAs. So instead of zip codes in this example, you would have the Canadian FSAs listed in column A. So now let's click here on File, click on Import, and then Import your data. Now you simply select the file for import and click on Open. AlignMix will default to showing you the column labels from your first worksheet in that Excel workbook we've selected. And in this case, that's not the one I need to import. So I need to click here on the back button and then select our zip to territory file. And you'll see here this red banner that is showing you where our column labels are. So if you didn't have your column labels listed in row one, but in row two, you would simply click on that row. But in this case, we'll leave it in row one and click on next. Now you will see all of our column labels appear here on the left side. And what we need to do now is click on one of our columns here and drag it and drop it to the corresponding section here on the right. And this process will tell AlignMix how to import this data into the file. So our zip code ID goes down here to zip code ID. As I drop that column of data in, the other sections here on the right have collapsed. AlignMix now knows that we are importing zip to territory data. Territory ID goes to territory ID here, territory name to name. And remember, if you only have one of these columns of data, that's okay, you just import one of them. District ID goes to district, and region ID goes to region. If you are creating a hierarchy, this is where you would drop those data fields. If you don't have territories assigned to a grouping like districts or regions, you can skip that step and only drag in the zip code and the assigned territory. And if you do have data, you can pull in zip code based data here to zip code data and now click on Next. Here you will receive a summary of what we are about to import, and click Next again. When the import is finished, you can click here on the Finish button. If this is your first time importing data into AlignMix, you may see a number appear here for import errors, and that's totally normal if it's your first time using AlignMix, because in AlignMix we're using up-to-date zip codes, so there's a chance if you're using a different piece of software that you had older zip codes there, or there might be even typos in your Excel file. Most common errors occur from blanks in your data, typos, missing data, or even foreign postcodes. So if you accidentally import a handful of Canadian FSAs into a US five-digit map, those will appear as import errors. If you do have older zip codes in your file, that's okay, AlignMix will map your old zip codes to the new zip codes. So when you're finished here, click on Finish, and right away you will see all of your geographic territories appear on the map. You can now zoom in and you will see the territory ID appear in the center of every territory. 
During this import, I created territories, districts, and regions. So if you wanted to see your districts, you could click here on the plus button, click on districts, and now you can see all of our districts. And the red number is showing you the span of control. And that's the default label set for our districts. So that's showing you how many territories are assigned to each district. You can change the labels by going to configure layers and changing the label that way. To access a region map view at our third level of assignment, you do the same thing and open up regions, and now you can see our three regions. And there you go. You've just learned how to import your current territories into AlignMix.